Here are some essential uh, keyboard shortcuts for those of you that want to use the perspective grid. This is something that I think a lot of us are going to use, even in a small, uh, small way or a big way. It doesn't matter depending on what you're working on. But if I want to go and work on the perspective grid, and let's say I'm in Illustrator, and this is Illustrator CS5 and, you know, later, obviously, uh, what I can do is I can turn on the grid by using a keyboard shortcut. So it's Control-Shift-I on Windows, and I can toggle back and forth, or it's Command-Shift-I on Mac. That just turns the grid on and off. Now, if you go to the Perspective Grid tool, you'll see right here, I can see Perspective Grid tool. I can click on that. That'll actually show me the grid and let me edit it. I can also then go in here and go to the Perspective Selection tool, which allows me to select content. We'll take a look at that in a second. But here are some key shortcuts for us. If I go to the Rectangle tool, and let's say I draw content, and I want to draw it on one of the planes out here. So I'm on either the left, the right, or the bottom. I've got a three-plane uh, three uh, grid out here. What I can do is switch between planes by using the little widget up here, or I can press, let's say, one, two, or three. And you'll see it's switching on the little widget up here. So two, one, three. So that way, if I start drawing, it'll draw it in perspective on that plane. Now, let me put a little color in here real quick so we can see this thing. All right. Now, if I want to move this, let's suppose I want to take this and I want to move it. If I hold down the Control key on Windows, Command on Mac, I still have the, uh, the rectangle tool or any of the drawing tools selected. I can click and drag, and you'll see that I can just kind of move it around. Now, if we want to get in, let's suppose that we're done drawing, and when I actually start moving, what I can do is I can go over to my tools over here and go to the Perspective Selection tool, and that's what you want to use to move things in perspective. Now, here are some shortcuts for moving, duplicating content within perspective. So if I have something selected, I can just obviously click and drag and leave it in perspective here. If I hold down Control on Windows or Command on Mac, I can move it out of perspective. It basically is the same thing as selecting the uh, selection tool, the black arrow. So let me undo that. And if I want to move it, let's say, in perspective here, what I can do is I can start dragging it. You'll see I can just move it on the plane. I can hold down the Shift key, and it will move it in perspective here uh, and keep it uh, constrained. So you can see I can move it that way. Now, if I want to duplicate something on a grid, if I start either start dragging or do this first, I can hold down Alt on Windows, Option on Mac, start dragging. And if I want to throw in the Shift key, I can constrain its movement. Here we go. I can let go of my mouse, let go of the keys, Alt and Shift. There we go. So it's Option and Shift on Mac. And that allows me to duplicate. Now, let's suppose that I want to take one of these and duplicate it over here. I'm going to create a building. It would be kind of lame. But I want to take one of the sides of the building and duplicate it on the other plane. What I can do is this. If I start dragging this one, what I'll do is I'll press 1, 2, or 3, and you'll see what it's going to do. I'm still dragging. I haven't let go of my mouse. So I get to the plane I want to put it on right there. Now, if I just let go right now, it's just going to move it to that plane. So watch. When I let go, it's just going to move it. Let me undo that. I'll start dragging again. I'll press number 1, move it over. Now, I just pressed and let go. If I want to duplicate it right now, I'll just hold down Alt on Windows, Option on Mac, get it snug in there, snap it in however I can, let go of my mouse, let go of my key, and I've got it duplicated. All right, I want to change the color on that real quick just so we have something to look at. That looks phenomenal. Wow, that's killing my eyes. All right. Now, another shortcut we can use, if you want to be able to take something and put it in perspective, you want to run it, I guess you could say, um, perpendicular to where it is. So I want to take these building faces, or at least just this one, and I want to copy it and stick it back here, what I can do is as I click and drag, I start moving it, I'm going to press the number 5. Now, I'm not just going to press it and let go because it'll just pop back. I'm going to press and hold down the number 5. You'll see I can move it here perpendicular to where I'm going, out or in. Now, if I want to duplicate it, I'm still holding down 5. I can hold down Alt or Option on Mac. That's going to allow me to duplicate it. It's, there we go. I'll wiggle my mouse a little bit. We get it. I let go of the mouse. I let go of the keys, and I've got it perpendicular. I copy. So you can do that with multiple objects as well. So if I shift-click to select these, start dragging, press the number 5. You can do 5 first, too. Hold down Alt or Option. There we go. And we've got it. Now, one thing that's really kind of cool, you guys, is if you do something like that, and let's suppose that you want to create multiple copies, we can actually transform again. So if you do that once, 
immediately press Control D or Command D, and what you can do is start duplicating it down the line. Now you gotta be careful because if you take a look here, let me zoom in, you're gonna see that it's actually putting them on top of each other. The newest one that you, uh, you replicate or duplicate is gonna go on top. So we can use bring to front and send to back, the arrange commands to arrange all these, and you're gonna probably need to do something like that. All right, let me fit this back in. Anyway, there's a lot of other cool things you guys can do, and I just wanted to show you real quick. If I have, let's say, uh, a building face or some object, a book, whatever I'm creating, and I want to put some artwork in it, let's say I take a symbol. You guys can draw something or create a symbol. It doesn't really matter. Uh, let me just change the size of this thing. I'll use my shift key there. Now, if I cut or copy something, so I'll cut that. If I go to an object that's inside of a plane or on a plane, rather, in perspective, and I select it with the perspective selection tool, You'll see here that I don't have a paste inside, so what I wind up doing is I wind up actually using the drawing modes. So with the selected, if I hit Shift D, and it doesn't seem to want to work for me here, I'll just, okay, I'll select Draw Inside right there. Shift D, Shift, shift, shift Modes, but it's not letting me do it right now. And what I'll do is I'll just paste, and it's going to paste in the side. Now, you guys can paste a lot of things. Now, you got to be careful because you'll find that raster images, it's going to yell at you a lot of times especially if it tries to go in perspective. So once you guys paste inside of, I just did the draw inside, I just did paste, I can go to the perspective selection tool, click and drag the object, and it will put it in perspective. That way, if I want, I can go out here and resizing it using my shift key and get it where I want it, and there we go. There's a lot of really cool things you guys can do in perspective, just using a few simple shortcuts to make it easier on yourself.